welcome to Relax in Pain. And so what we're doing is I'm trying to get it so it's not too shiny. I'm working with Color Shift, Treasure Gold, Dragonfly Glaze. Um, there's all kinds of color shifts here. Then there's metallic multi-surface. And there's even metallic black. All right. But I'm just going to show you some fun aspects of using stencils and accomplishing these little dragonflies and all that we want to do. Now, this is my new butterflies. There's one that's all kinds of cool butterflies like monarchs and all. Then this has a lot of side views. And this one has, it's flat and this is coming towards you. So you shadow underneath here. And then my dragonflies. All right. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to flip this right here. And I'm going to use my new stencil brushes. There's three in a set. Okay. And they're synthetic nylon. So they're really pretty awesome. All right. And so what's going to happen on here, I just need to show you that we're going to take our paper towel. Oops, I got the paint all over me. There we go. I'm going to take this paper towel and we're going to decide what color we're going to use here. So this is color shift and it should say violet. Let's see. It says blue violet. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go around the edges so that you can see it as a pattern. Okay. I'm going to just have it like I just stenciled the pattern on. All right. So I'm going to rub this off so it doesn't smear on the other side. Then I have a little dragonfly here. Now, usually this is what I tell you to do. If I go here, color shift means it doesn't naturally look lavender. It's like the, it's for the automotive industry. Like you're going to grab this, you're going to wipe it off. But what it does is if you see those cars that you go, look at that gold car. And then when it comes by, you go, oh, it was green. It's not gold. And that's a metallic paint that we got these of uh, this from the industry. I'm starting with a black canvas from the automotive industry, actually. And then I'm going to put this big dragonfly down here. All right. So I'm just going to do one side of this dragonfly body. And let's get some more of this violet. And I'm using the 12. There's a 12, 16, and a 20 synthetic nylon stencil. So when you, I mean, stencil brushes, when you use the other rough like stencil brushes, the stiff bristles slide underneath the, the stencil. But these are just going along the lines. Okay. So it's just put out a pattern for me really quickly. Right. So I'm going to go and st stroke this brush one way on the rake in the basin here, just one way. And then that gets all the paint out of there. So we're ready to use it next time. All right. So I want to show you that before I start doing my regular strokes that I want to show you. All right. So I'm going to do hydrangeas. And what I want you to see is when we're doing hydrangeas, I'm going to lay my brush on paper towel. And what's going to happen is I want, this is treasure gold and it's green gold. So I have sad green multi-surface and I'm going to work, 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 work this um, green gold, treasure gold into the brush. All right. So I do want to put some medium here because this is the floating medium. All right. I want you to see that if I put a little bit in the middle, I can dip into this so that mostly so the green isn't really thick. Okay. Now here is they have big leaves. All right. For hydrangea. So one, two, three. I want you to see. See, that's plenty of paint, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up some floating medium on just the tip. There we go. So see, I'm doing the shell and then I'm going to stand up, stand up to the point. So one, two, three. All right. So I'm going to come back here and get more paint and a teeny bit of floating medium on the one corner. There we go. So we're going to come back over this. All right. I need more paint. 
There we go. And then I'm going to pull a stem into there. All right. So see that metallic? This isn't metallic. The sap green is just sap green. All right. So I'm going to come back in here. I want you to see this. I'm going to wiggle up and slide back down. All right. Wiggle up and slide right down. And come around. All right. So some of the little leaves I can put in there later, but that's the hydrangeas I wanted you to see first. All right. So now next, let's look at some of the other colors. All right. So I'm going to get, um, this is a 10. We could get a 12. All right. Let's just work. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put in here some Juneberry. And the Juneberry, let's come right in here. Okay. We're going to come all around in here. Okay. So then what we want to do is we can pick up, say, the pink. And let's come around. And this is pink. And a, a, let's see what color this is. It is Orchid Flash. So Orchid Flash, see what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab it and go one, two, three, around the outside edge. Okay, around the outside edge. Okay, see that pretty metallic color? So it's nice, like I, I can even put black and then come and do all this. Now, what's going to happen is I can do, watch this, one, two, three, four. I can go pick up more. One, two, three, four. Now, look, I push and it fans out, push and it fans out, push. And I'm just doing this ridge around the edge. All right. So that gives a pretty color. We can also come in here with both colors and have a little bit of that hydrangea coming out. Okay, so we're going to come with these two colors. All right. So see how some of those come in there? Give you a nice look. All right. And we can also come in here with some green. So the green gold with this Juneberry on here. Okay. Isn't that kind of pretty? All right, so now the next one we'll do, I just want you to see that we can just put licorice in here, wet. All right, so I'm going to come over here a little bit. Okay. So we have the, the licorice, right? And then I'm going to come in here and pick up some of this lilac, right? So we're going to take and come all the way around here. So you get a little bit of purple tones mixed in with gold. So look, I can take and slip slap. You grab it and then go slip, slap, slip, slap. 
but you could also do like I did over here, put some like dioxazine purple or violet pansy in the background and then get all this great looking colors in here. So and do little bits, little bits. Get some purple over here, little bits. All right. And then I can wipe that off and then just come in here and do some leaves. Okay. Do strokes in here. So see that? All right. So it just kind of makes it fun. You can also come in here with a little bit of licorice and you can make some uh, darker shading along here into a C like. Yeah, just a little bit of darker shading with just the licorice. Okay. So last little thing I want to show you is what we're going to do with the dragonflies. So I'm just going to come in here and let's stroke the dragonfly wings. All right. So this is chiseling, chiseling. All right. And same thing over here, the back wing, the front wing, and then the two trailing ones. Now I can come in here with a little bit of the body. I want you to see that this is a nice big dragonfly. And you can make it any color you want. I'm just picking out these metallics because their wings many times have an iridescent glow. Okay. And the good thing is we get all the wings to the size they need to be. All right. So see, if you lift it up just right, you do see the lavender. Okay. With these matte looking backgrounds, I usually spray a sealer on it. All right, so we're gonna come in here with, let's see, let's put some pink in here. I think we gotta get some sap in here. See the dark green? All right, so here's the body, the head. Then we're going to come right across here all the way to the tail. All right. Okay, now we're going to come right in here. And we've got the head, the body, the body. And then we're going to come right down here and do... I can write in here with liquors down the middle. All right. So we have all three of these. Now, one thing I did do is I took the floaty medium. Oops. I just came in here with, with some licorice. All right, let's come back with some licorice. Okay. A little bit of licorice. See how we're getting the wings, the different wings? All right, the only thing you have to come back is do the antennas. So that's... The licorice there. I side loaded with the metallic and the licorice. 
And this is what I want to do. I want to come right here from the body. Both ends. All right, so we're just going to take a two skirt liner and we're going to come right in here and do the little antenna. So we're going to take a curve here, come up from there, and there we go. Let's do the same thing here. We're going to do one, two. And it comes right to the body. So if I do that, and that, I take those antennas right to it. And I'm going to put a little bit of licorice on the outside here. So these dragonflies make any painting you're doing fun, but I just want you to understand that um, I want you to, to see all the different kinds of paints that you can use to make your, your painting really pretty. I can also come in here and dot little licorice dots. And there we go. And you could, I don't know if I put it in there because the black all there, but there we go. So, <laughs> so then the last thing I want to show you is this dragonfly glaze. So I have to heat this up. Right, they're already metallic. This is a heat pen that we sell. And it works really good on glass. For those who do glass painting, we need to dry in between layers. The heat pen. Okay, so I just need to show you that this is Dragonfly glaze. All right. So let me show you. I might can show you here by doing a couple of strokes. I don't know if you can see, but it gives this glitter. Like it looks like the dragonfly wings. So I could just paint the wings with this glaze. Oops. Oops. All right, so when it's all done, that gives you another added yummy dragonfly iridescent look. So it's got the metallic underneath and just on the wings, you want to put that dragonfly. It's a, uh, a glaze that goes on top to finish your painting. So you can put it on a lot of yummy looks. All right, so look, I'm going to just put... Some really pretty strokes. This is just one stroke leaves. And they're going to go right over. All right. Oh, isn't that pretty? As we get more and more in here. This has a, you have, there's different color ones. This, if you look at them, they have blues and greens and different, like aquas and stuff. So this seems to have a little bit on black. See, that's the thing. On black, it's got a little bit of a blue tur uh Blue, purplish, purplish color. Let's see which one I'm using. Uh, right here. Yes, this is called red, violet, blue. All right, so it shifts. See the colors up here? Red, violet, blue. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Just some fun little details that you can do. 
And then I can also, I just want you to know when you put sealer over metallic, you kind of lose that, uh, that sheen. So um, this right here, this black canvas, I can come in here with multi-surface paint and just get um, a fun little finish on here. Or since it's already black, you can just put a little black coat over it. Okay, so I'll see you next week. I hope you have a great holiday. And don't stop painting. Practice, practice. Let me see what yours looks like. Share it on our Facebook group. And we love to see and give you compliments and inspire you. Many times people say, tell me what I need to do. How am I doing? And we've got almost 40,000 people saying wonderful things about how to help you improve or answer your questions along with me. Okay. So there you go. See, I'm going around just getting some sheen in here instead of that flat background because i forgot if you spray this it takes away the shine and all from all the other finishes so that you don't want to do that all right all right i'll see you next time bye-bye